Hi, and welcome to Debbie's Rusty Brush. Uh, today we're going to do a, a St. Patrick's Day painting, and it's going to be a sheep family with in a field of um, shamrocks, and it's going to be on a pretty spring morning. So this is what we're going to paint today, and it's on a six by six. 3D canvas. So as you can see, we did wrap it around the sides. And so we are going to give that a go today. All right. So if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, share with your friends because it helps my channel grow and I appreciate it greatly. Um, if there's anything that you want to see me attempt to paint, let me know. I am self-trained, um, and so I I just try things. So not everything that I try works out, um, but I'll give anything a go. So if there's something that you would like to see me um, give a go to, I promise to film it and to um, put the video on my channel whether it is a fail or not. So um, if there's something that you would like me to try, let me know. Um, my, my style is not realistic. It is abstract, um, impressionistic, uh, like primitive, um, but realistic, you're never ever gonna get that from me. But I will give a go to anything that you would like to see. All right, so let's get going on this painting. Okay, so I'm just going in with some um, Prom Queen, which is a really light blue, and I'm mixing in some white with this um, to get a really light blue sky. And I'm going to go all the way down. We're going to add our grass in. I am going around the edges, um, but we'll add our grass in later. Now I'm putting in some Cowgirl Coral, and that will give it a nice blush of a morning um, because this is a springtime morning. So then we're just going to dry that paint down a little bit before we add in some yellow because we know if we add yellow to blue, you get green and we don't want any green in our sky. And so I'm just going to put like some sun rays in here and um, just kind of drag them up with my finger and blend them onto the canvas. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of the prom queen and um, add just a little bit more blue in there so that we just have a good blend going on. Um, and now I'm just going to dry it off a little bit um, so that it will dry quickly. Um, and now we're going in with some aviary and I'm just going to put a uh, basic area that the grass will be. I've already done the underside of that so we didn't have to wait for that to dry before I could set it down on the um, easel. Now we're going in with um, some little black dress from DIY and we're just going to make our sheep heads. This is the daddy sheep and now the mommy sheep and then we'll do the baby sheep. And all this is is basically a V that you fill in. So um, you make the little V and then you fill it in and that is their head. And so you've got their ears and their face. And now we're going to take um, a little bit of white swan and I've got just this uh, crusty old brush that I just stipple in the white. Um, I did decide that I didn't have my grass up far enough because I didn't want them to sit on it. The, the grass and the horizon line, I wanted them to actually be standing on the grass. So um, I'm just going through adding in some more grass so that I have that right perspective. And then we'll go back in and finish getting the basic body of our sheep in there. Um, and this little guy, he's going to be kind of standing at an angle. So he will have two front feet and a back foot. The other back foot is hiding. And then Mama's sheep here, she's going to be cuddled up right next to Daddy's sheep there. She's kind of a little bit in front of him. Um, and so we want her little legs to come down a little bit further than Daddy's. And um, she snuggled right up to his side there. And then this is a good time to go in and just clean up around their little faces um, because we want nice crisp lines there. 
And then we just take a little bit of the white swan in with the black and add a, um, a highlight on the side of their face that would catch the most light. And we're going to do this to all three of our sheep. Okay, and then we're just going to go in and put in an area of um, where it's a little darker between their little legs there where um, they've had a little dirt from laying in the grass and um, maybe the mud. And so we want a little bit of a, a darkening through there. And then I wanted a little shadow that Mama Sheep is throwing onto Daddy Sheep there where she is snuggled right up against him. So we're going to put that in using the white swan and just a touch of um, our little black dress. We don't need much of the little black dress because uh, it's very pigmented and so it will take over if you use too much. And then we're going to go in with just the bright white and we're going to give them their little fluff on top of their heads and um, Then we're going to let that dry. And so while the sheep are drying, what we're going to do is we're going to put some shamrocks in along the grass here. And um, we're just going to put several throughout here. Um, I don't show it on camera. I do go all the way around the sides. Um, but it takes a while to put these in. And a basic shamrock is three hearts and a stem. And so they don't have to be perfect if you don't get a perfect heart shape. Um, that is quite all right because Mother Nature does not ever have things perfectly symmetrical, um, perfectly shaped. Not everything is going to be shaped exactly the same. So we just want to get the impression that we have a field of clover that our sheep are hanging out in. Okay, so we're just going to continue to put the shamrocks on here and um, make sure that we've got... Uh, plenty in our field here for our sheep uh, to be frolicking in. And now that our sheep have dried a little bit, we're going to put a shamrock um, in the little guy's mouth. Um, and you notice I'm picking up my canvas and moving it to where it's easier for me to get certain areas. And that's okay. You do what you need to do to achieve what you're trying to do. Okay, so now we're adding a hat to Daddy, and like I said, go ahead and move that canvas however you need to move it um, to be able to get the job done. Now we're doing the shamrocks and Daddy's hat in uh, Monet's garden, and then I'm adding in a bit of apothecary just to do highlights here on the hat. Um, And now we're going to put a wreath around Mommy. And I'm just going in with some fancy farm girl. Um, and then I'm going to put a bow on her using um, the dark green Monet's Garden. And a little bit of apothecary as a highlight in there. And then I'm going to put in just the appearance of shamrocks in her wreath. Um, which is basically three little green dots because you can't get that... Um, detailed with it it's too small and then I put in some dots of yellow for flowers and now I'm going to go through and put a uh, shamrock on daddy's hat and a hat band and then we're going to take some uh, folk art gold and put a little belt buckle on or a little buckle on his hat band and now I'm taking apothecary and I'm just oh actually I'm taking fancy farm girl and I'm adding in grass and the grass is um, just giving a variance and some movement and depth in the um, what we already laid down. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that fancy farm girl and mix in some liquid sunshine and make a little bit lighter variance of that green and put that in and around. And that just adds depth and character into the grass there. Um, and it settles the shamrocks in and makes them pop. Okay, and so now I'm just adding some highlights with apothecary to our shamrocks all the way around, and that's going to be our last step. Um, we'll clear coat it after it fully cures and dries. Okay, so that is it. That is our uh, painting of our sheep, our little sheep family. And um, I have not 
uh, done a clear coat on this yet or a sealer and that will brighten up these colors. In fact, what I can do is mist it with a little bit of water and it will show the vibrancy that the sealer will bring. Now I do use a matte finish so it won't have the sheen that the water gives it but you can see how that brightened up those colors. Now when you use chalk paint that's what happens. It dulls down as it dries but when you clear coat it it brings back the vibrancy of those colors and so see as like you can see on the side it's a little bit um, not as bright and vibrant but on the front where I sprayed the water it's definitely vibrant so when I clear coat this this is what it will look like at the end all right thank you guys for hanging out with me today and um, I will be back again next week all right bye-bye have a good week